I'm spending two days exploring the heart of the English countryside, the East Midlands. There's loads to see and I don't have a lot of time, so let's get on with it. As I approached Nottingham Castle, I was nearly assaulted by a man in tights. It's the legendary Robin Hood, of course. And while nobody knows for certain if Robin Hood actually existed, we do know that Nottingham Castle does. It was built in the 11th century by William the Conqueror. And while much of what you see today is actually a 17th century mansion, just behind me, there are the remains of the original castle foundations. As you can probably hear, I'm surrounded by birds. We're in the middle of the Attenborough Nature Reserve, just a few minutes from Nottingham city centre next to the village of Attenborough. There's more than 226 hectares of beautiful wetlands to explore here. You could spend hours exploring the Attenborough Nature Reserve, and best of all, it's free. But crucially, don't forget your binoculars. We're in the Peak District, declared Britain's first national park in 1951. Strangely, however, there are no mountains in the Peak District, with the highest hill, Kinderscout, being just 636 meters. Nonetheless, there are 555 square miles of gorgeous landscape to explore. We're at the National Space Center in Leicester. Why is there a Space Center in Leicester? That was my question. It turns out Leicester has been vital to the international space missions for more than 50 years. You can easily spend a full day at the Space Center. There's loads to do. You can learn all about the universe and the solar system. You get to check out loads of new rockets and you can even launch a mission to space to discover a new planet. Here I go. Beat me up, Scotty. Just near here, you'll find one of the most important places in the history of British food. At Beaver Castle, the afternoon tea was invented. Apart from that, the whole area has a really rich food and drink history. It's here you'll find some of the most iconic items of British food stuff. Stilton cheese, which we all have at Christmas, Melton Mowbray pork pies, and of course, Bakewell tarts. The Beaver Brewery in Leicestershire is one of the key breweries that's forming part of the British Renaissance in beer. It's an independent brewery and you can try a range of their beers and also see how they're made. I'm in Leicester's Belgrave Road, called the Golden Mile because of the huge quantities of Asian gold sold here. It feels like a little slice of India, just walking down the streets. There are shops selling saris, you have Indian restaurants on every corner. Unfortunately, we just missed Diwali celebrations, which took place last night. Now, Diwali here is the biggest celebration outside of India. But to console ourselves, we've just had a meal at Bobby's, which is one of the longest established Indian restaurants in Leicester. And I can tell you from my experience, it's also one of the best. I hope you've enjoyed this whirlwind tour of the East Midlands. Two days just isn't enough to see everything, but I hope it's given you a flavor of the area and what it has to offer.